one job, America. It's your favorite fucking comedian, Elon Rich, and I realize a lot of my reviews can be pretty in-depth and include a recap, so I'm going to start doing a few quickie reviews as well. Let's get down to it. My first quickie review will be for The Fate of the Furious. I just got done seeing that, and it was really good. It was much better than it should be. I went with a couple friends, and... From the beginning, you can tell that the center of this story is mostly going to be about Dom and Letty. There isn't much in-depthness into the other characters. The Rock is there, and The Rock is just... The Rock is just firing on all cylinders and just being hilarious and badass as a motherfucker. Just punching and breaking shit. Everything The Rock has is big. That didn't sound right. The only thing I have a problem with with this film, with me reviewing it, is my love for The Rock. I have a love for The Rock that can only be explained as hetero because I've never met him. That's all I'm going to say. But every character in this film, to me, is working at the highest level. The weakest character is still fun. The, uh... The woman with the curly hair. I'm blanking on her name right now. I'm really sorry. But she might be. She's only the weakest one. There's a couple surprises in there. From a couple returns that you don't expect. You don't expect some of these returns. Like there's a return that happens that I was like. We didn't need it. But it was pretty fun to see. Because you got to see him working with. You know some of the other people. And I will say. If you have not seen. The Fate of the Furious, you should definitely go see it. It's one of those things that it's so much fun to watch. There's some stuff that happens where you got to turn off your brain and you're like, oh, fuck, that can't really happen, that can't happen, but it's so fucking fun. That's The Fate of the Furious. So, if you can't take my word at it, read some other reviews. I read the other reviews, and I saw the box office. It made some money this weekend. It made some big ass money. Honestly, even if the movie was terrible, people were gonna go see it. It's it's Fast and Furious. Come on. Another problem people might have with this film is, you know, that sense of how all of a sudden everybody wants to work together. I can understand that because the difference between this one and the Fast and the Furious six and five, when The Rock started working with them, is nobody got killed like nobody was really killed like that by the other person Shaw killed Hans or the the Asian guy whose name I'm trying to remember and I feel like it's kinda of racist that I called him Hans but you know I can understand that the only issue is it's so fucking fun to watch them all work together Oh, it's hard. It's hard to hate it. It's Jason Statham. It's Vin Diesel. It's The Rock. It's Michelle Rodriguez. Ludacris. Tyrese. Tyrese is hilarious in this movie. Him and Ludacris and their little one-liners. Everything Tyrese says is just like... Even Tyrese gets a bit of a badass moment. And you're just like, damn, Roman. It's like everybody gets their chance to shine in this movie. And I don't, I don't think there was a point in the movie where it started to drag. Not, not at one point. It did become at sometimes looking like, wow, Vin Diesel, Dominic Toretto's kind of like outsmarting all of them and doing these Superman things. I think by now you know what you're gonna get with the Fast and Furious. You know there's gonna be some implausible shit that's gonna happen. Sometimes cars are gonna go off really high places and survive or whatever it's gonna be car crashes that people survive for no absolute reason but you know you're gonna get that that's the fast and the furious it's 
it's never said it was grounded in reality, so I can't expect it to be any different now. So, yeah, it's one of those things that I can't exactly say that this is how it should be. So, this movie is bad. But I will say, when it came to everybody working together, some of the people, mm, I don't know. One of the people that works with them, actually, he never really meets up with the rest of them. So him working with them is kind of believable. But next movie, I expect Avengers Infinity War with Fast and the Furious 9. I want everybody working together for, for no fucking reason. I want everybody working together on some kind of heist. Also, the reason why Vin Diesel does what he does is explained, and it's a pretty good explanation. It's believable. Some people predicted it. I didn't. So, I'm just going to say, after my viewing of it, and some of my bias, I give this movie a 7.8 out of 10. I don't want to give it an 8, because that's that would be my heart talking more than my brain. And I don't want to give it a 7 because that would really shortchange this film. This film is not that bad. Compared to some of the other Fast and the Furious, this one doesn't, doesn't do too much dumb shit. You know? Like I said, this is my first quickie review. I hope you enjoyed it. And you should definitely go out and see The Fate of the Furious. I'm Elon Rich. Hit the like button. Share on Facebook, Instagram, wherever you want to. Subscribe to my channel and laugh. I'll see you tomorrow or later on today with another video. Yeah.